In this video, I'm going to show you how I turn a collar point and do a top stitch on it using an extra piece of string. <clears throat> Let me zoom in onto the work area here. Just like with a regular collar, usually one of them at the bottom under collar is interfaced. So you start off by putting these right sides together. Then on a collar, typically it's a quarter inch seam allowance, usually. It can vary. What you do is you sew your construction seam <clears throat> kind of as usual. When you get to the corner, slow down. You want to stop one stitch before you turn. So hand crank here. That's one stitch before I'm going to turn. Put your needle all the way down. Lift up your presser foot. Get an extra piece of thread. Thread it between the layers of your fabric. See, so saw it through here and get it right to your needle in your one in your right hand. Pull all the way back here so you make sure you're not going to catch it in a stitch. Hand crank one stitch more. And this should be where right where you wanted to pivot for the turn. Lift up your presser foot. Grab your thread that you pulled to the back with your right hand. Pull it forward. Make sure you're still between the layers of fabrics. Pull it over and marry it up with your piece that's in the middle here. Make sure they're pulled out of the way so they won't be caught in the stitching. Turn your corner. And I'm going to lower my stitch just a little, stitch length just a little bit. I should have done it a couple beforehand. And I'm going to hand crank one stitch <coughs> more. I'm going to go a couple of stitches, and then go back out to my normal stitch length. Excuse me. I'm going to pull the camera back up a little. Now this is, you're going to trim your corner like you normally do. Make sure you don't clip the threads. Now go to your middle, your inside of your fabric and turn out your corner like normal. And you'll notice you have two pieces of string here that'll help pull your corner out. Don't pull it too hard because you might pull out your stitch your corner. And that's how I turn out a corner on my collars. And if this was a square corner on a collar, it'd be a little more pointed. See how it's nice and square. And then I'm going to top stitch this. What I'm going to do is just finger manipulate this a little bit to get the
the collar right to the edge. And you leave these strings in here, and I'll show you why. Now let's top stitch the collar. Now on collars, typically it's around a quarter inch top stitch, usually, but it's whatever you want to do. <clears throat> now I'm going to top stitch like normal. Excuse me. And the, the reason I leave this this threads here is because you can help hold the corner out so your machine doesn't pull the corner in or eat the corner. Then when you get to the turn point of your corner, rotate your fabric. Make sure you've got your threads here. And I hold these threads here and to start the re after the turn of the corner. It helps make sure the machine doesn't pull in the fabric. That's how I turn out my shirt collars and top stitch them. Then at this point you could take your threads out or you can still leave them in there for a few more minutes to press it and maybe just hold the corner a little bit. And you want to press a collar, you don't want to iron it, just press it. This helps set the stitches. Now you can take your string out. That's how I do, turn out a corner on a shirt collar. On a shirt collar it would be more pointed, but I just did a square one. And you get a really nice point. Nice control on your top stitching. 